Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Plays Bannerlord for Absolute Beginners. We've got a few missions, but principally I'm uh, thinking that we will head towards tier 5. Well, the top tier we can manage, whatever that is. So I suppose tier 6 of the archers. I'm going to try and uh, balance the numbers as well. Under my orders. Probably split our skirmishes. So still infantry, but with throwing weapons. And I want you to be heavy armor, I think. Yeah, no pole arms. Heavy armors. Uh, these should have shields and pole arms. Okay, you have skirmishes, you have shock troops. So I'm hoping this will work. Nope. Okay, apparently I can no longer go backwards. That's fine. Okay, so. So what I'm hoping to do is have twice as many regular troops as everyone else. Well, technically we'll have the same number of skirmishers, but they'll be in two groups. Footman! If we do you Move! guys... Down there. Okay. Infantry! Shot troops can go there. Infantry. And in theory, we have a double row of skirmishes either side. Forward. Archers off. Okay. Infantry! Charge! Soldiers! Attack! Footmen! Attack! Infantry! Kill them all! Yeah. really work, but not to worry. Apparently I'm even worse at personal combat than I am at uh, commanding. Well. Some uh, cavalry here. a volunteer though. So yeah, that actually went appallingly. Right, I'm gonna go all the way up to the top tier we can, which will hopefully make it easier for us to compare our troop types. <laughs> I 
Hopefully. So I want to kind of balance them, basically. I want a nice big bunch of standard infantry to go in the middle and hopefully attract attention. I want two groups of skirmishers that combined of the same number as the standard infantry. And some shock troops which are half the size of a standard infantry. There's no major knowledge going into that. I'm just um, black heart. It just seems some relatively easy numbers to balance. for anyone now. Actually, if you take the reds out, we're probably guaranteed to go through. So maybe I should focus on the reds. This guy. Okay, I think everyone now in the arena Guaranteed to go to the next round. Still, no reason not to win. He's doing very well to say his specialties of two handed swords. This guy's are rather better at this than me. Say you in hell! Oh well. I suppose he was an Imperial Cataphract. Hang on. Make your mind. Who are you attacking here? either side of you. Okay, I have Mr. Blood Axe with me again. Oh. Not a good idea to run away from me. Fair enough. 
do it. Not that it would have mattered, to be fair. We're both on the uh, same part of the same clan now. So. We'd get the weapon no matter who wins. Still. Okay, I'm gonna check these and fancy either of them. However. Right, that's a two-handed axe. Excellent. So he's got a one-handed axe and a two-handed axe. So he may as well have a shield as well. And I guess a spear. Uh, she could do with a shield. It does occur to me that maybe instead of a spear, what I should be doing is giving her... two lots of throwing weapons. Boots, mail mittens. Well, javelins are always good. Seventy pierce. All oh, right, I see. So these are longer. lots, huh? Oh well, maybe I should have gone for the spear. Never mind. Oh well, have a throwing weapon. A bit random, but what can you do? Fine, that seems... <laughs> A little odd to me, because I'm fairly sure that some of our regular troops come equipped with two lots of throwing weapons. Mess with us, and we'll sell our lives dearly. Ah. So I actually don't want to die. But they're not willing to outright surrender. Okay, so at least now we don't have to worry too much about who we upgrade and who we don't. Because we're just upgrading everyone. It does make things rather easier. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? I have some sheep. Probably nothing decent here. So, just going to head back to Batania.
as in actual Britannia, not the various lands it conquered. Because I'm hoping we'll be sending our borrowed troops back soon and we can try to replace them with real troops. May as well check this quest while we're passing. Nip can't actually do that, even if I want to. I'm already in the process of training troops. Already have some cattle. Oh, there's Risa. Still need to keep an eye out for unaffiliated clans, although that will open Risa to being attacked. But it should give us some more interesting battles. We still need to do bribes to enter the keep at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, cattle are of 200. I'll sell a couple. Got quite a lot of meat. I think that was a reward for something we did. I don't think that's a great price for it though. Could sell some steel though, to be fair. Oh, hang on. I think we found someone. Oh, right. Varcheg's rebels. Okay. So, they don't really exist anymore. Varcheg has been retaken. I... I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. So yeah, you basically get this when you uh, choose to attack someone, and you oh. can back out, as I just did without meaning to. But yeah, so we've just become an enemy of Varcheg's rebels. So this should be a relatively safe fight to pick, because... Under my command! We're only looking at a single group. Thelanos, you can do them. Nice, and I think you were doing the cavalry, and I wasn't doing anyone. However, it is a night battle, and I absolutely hate those. Because it's very hard to see what's going on. Hmm. Infantry! Is there any chance at all that they will come towards, I wonder? We'll make a shield wall! Footmen! Move! It's just doing the fairly obvious here. Skirmishes either side. Shock troops in the back. And we may actually have some archers now. I probably might as well leave in a line, seeing as there's so few of them. We will get some more. And I'm not going to worry about the cavalry too much. Question is, what are they going to do? Everyone! Hold our rows! So I'm telling everyone to hold their arrows at the moment because you can very easily waste them. It's possible that they are running away. Trying to find a better ground to attack from. I think they might be. Soldiers! Well, let's Forward! move our shield wall here. 
which is going to take forever. I'm going to unleash the Kazates. Take over command. If nothing else should give us an idea of where the enemy is. and run how to object to that really Infantry, move! Uh, can I get you guys to face towards Turn! where I think the enemy are Footman, move! Okay. and we'll put Forward! skirmishers Infantry, either side move! let's try and keep everyone together Infantry! Shock troops can go back a bit. Oop, is that a bunch of mounted troops? That is a bunch of mounted troops. Probably avoid getting too close, but I think they're on the defensive. It's going to make things interesting. So the question is, does being on the defensive mean that they're weak enough? But I should just have our commanders take over and start charging them myself. Archers are quite a way back. Yeah, might do. Soul Sergeants in charge! Otherwise we're gonna be here forever. So I'll just let the computer take command of everything. And I'm gonna make use of easy mode to try to make their lives miserable. Which is a concern. Hopefully, our troops can bog them down. So, in theory, if I can avoid running into a tree, the bar at the top should give us a fairly good idea of how the battle's progressing. So our main weaknesses are going to be lack of cavalry and lack of archers. Speaking of... Yeah, you see the computer's backed up against the edge of a battlefield. Because it's AI won't let it go any further away. So it's all huddled. They will usually try and seek high ground as well, which is sensible. So it's worth looking at what the computer does when you're not very used to the game because it does give at least some idea of how to go about it. It can be a massive pain to get on the battle edge of the battlefield as well because you keep riding off it by accident and you have to get back on. Still, I think we're fine. Yeah, battles are definitely a lot more fun when the enemy comes to you. But apparently, 
we were too strong for them to do that. So the um, the other clans and nobles, unlike the looters, actually have brains. So when they're weaker than you, they're not going to mindlessly charge like we've been used to. They will try and keep a distance, find somewhere defensive. one of the veteran borrowed troops which is a shame okay hopefully he's worth a bit more as a ransom right I'm gonna make some regular troops because I'm thinking that we should probably make some uh, cavalry as well nice and something to work with. And we should have some rather better equipment now. Oh yeah, send him back, sorry. That's fine. Okay, probably a bit over encumbered. So we've officially, that's how you declare war when you're not a king. All you can do is basically attack someone, which I don't really like. But that's life. Right, let's see what we've got in terms of equipment. We didn't get any banners, which is a shame. So you can... Um, Fighting proper armies is one of the ways you can gain actual banners, which are quite important. Uh, I think that is better. Okay. You assume that Idrun already has pretty good kit. Actually, let's look at the stuff that I lost, because that's probably better. I would have expected. One handed, two handed spear brace. I mean, that's definitely better. I could really do with something I can couch though. So that might be better given to someone who's going to fight on foot. So yeah, it's a slightly better version of the one he's already got. Uh, you could also have one. Seeing as it won't, let me give you more throwing weapons. Okay, what else? Balanced broadsword, I think that's broadly better. That looks better. Oh, we've got another bow. Got a cracked longbow. Uh, which is possibly actually better. Okay, what's the arrows? A large bag of arrows. Can have balanced barbed arrows instead. Not as many, but the pierce is much better. 
So yeah, let's go with that. And we'll just sell everything else. So it's a bit of a question of you sort of improve your own equipment and then you kind of hand it down to everyone else and improve theirs. Steady the leather armor. Not much in it really. Rough hide cap is definitely better. In fact, oh no. It's like most people have something better than that. Yep, fair enough. Maybe not in the civilian outfits. No, that's, that's not bad. I feel like we're a bit better equipped now. because Caladog, the king of the Batanians, has gone in before us and taken everyone. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. So yeah, he's a uh, big fan of the Battle of Pendrake. <laughs> his predecessor disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and then he broke all his treaties. So, yeah. Lots of archers. That's it, really. Wouldn't trust that guy as far as I could throw him. Varchig's rebel clans was destroyed. Just had a little message for that, which is why it was very safe to pick a fight with them, because Varchek had already been reconquered. So I knew they wouldn't be hanging around for very long, especially once we defeated them. So it's like the Batanians are still fighting the Empire. The Sturgeons are fighting the Kazates. It's all kicking off. Okay, we can get some volunteers at least. So, if we look at our troops. So you do get a rough idea at the top of what your makeup is. We've got a ton of um, the column infantry what they mean is melee infantry really or at least not archers because i suppose the skirmishes are a bit of both but we've got overwhelming amount of infantry we have 11 archers only two cavalry both of whom are named people and only five mounted archers so the cavalry again are the melee version with lances so to have a maximum of 84. So in fear, if we could get our infantry up to 60. That wouldn't divide very well, would it? I know it would. Divide it by 5. So we'd have, what, 24 of the standard infantry, 12 shock troops. And 24 skirmishers. Probably do more archers, although I'd like to get rid of the Imperial ones, in theory. Could probably just get rid of them, to be honest. 
which might be an option. But yeah, we could actually do with some more cavalry, some more kazates. So if we did have 60 infantry, if we kept with the amount of archers we've got, that would give us room for at least a few more cavalry, and we can sort of build up from there. I want to get some kind of um, decent balance. In terms of what we have, you best back off. I don't think so. Good grief, really? Okay, it's only I'm wishing I hadn't just sent troops to that one. Pretty sure I could have done that without losing anyone. Oh well, right, okay, so let's just see what our. Oh, we've got an improvement in riding, that's good. So the veterinary. Oh well, straps, well, we're not likely to ever be a governor. So it might be better off with mounts of troops in party and hit points for our mount. Idrun has got a pole arm. Okay, well she is cavalry, I believe. Family feud. Well Well now, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? Okay, so if we send Niacin again, no risk of failure, and you can take, I don't know, let me send you with some of our best people. So the top tier would be Veteran Skirmisher, I don't think it would actually be Folksman, it would be Veteran Folksman. We'll send you with them. Just thinking we can be training the others and where the Imperial Archers are concerned we can be deliberately losing them. Okay, I think I've already gone over 60 but two of them could become cavalry so that's fine. This is the one problem with sending people off on missions but I'm just thinking Let's just get them all well doing now, stuff. Stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? Okay, so all right, I'll give you a bunch of Oathsworn, which are the top tier standard troops. I guess we will start heading to the lands of the Kazate so that we can try to pick up some. Oh, good grief. Right, that was really bad timing. I kind of want my troops back now. <laughs> To be fair, I have to question whether we're in any position to attack a castle right now anyway. Hang on, I'm getting turned around here. Where's Varchek? That's Revel, this is Varchek. Thankfully this is a new group of Varchek Rebels. So we don't need to worry about being enemies with them. I'm just thinking if we at least go past there we can uh, check whether how overwhelming the number of enemies are. Everyone wants us to train troops at the moment. I 
may still be too early to take our first city. Let's help with brigands. Well, I will certainly consider it. What have we got? Defenders 362. So, what does tend to happen is you can pretty much starve out the garrison. But yeah, there's a bunch of parties in there as well, so I just don't think that's going to happen. So I think I'll keep on with what I was doing, and I'll set someone to deal I, with the brigands. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Right, so we're actually going to get a troop loss doing this. You her is our best bet, oddly enough. Well, not oddly, actually, he's the best warrior. His tactics. So I'm actually going to give him the Imperial Archers. Okay, and apparently that was all of them. Fair enough, have some clan warriors as well. So yeah, once we're at the next clan tier and we've got a few more people, we will likely be going for one of these. But as things currently stand, I don't really fancy our chances. Sure there are, my friend. Under my orders. Okay. So in theory, I don't think we actually have much in the way of opposition this time. So I think Every I might just sergeants. leave it to the sergeant. If I hadn't lost someone last time I did send troops, I probably would have just sent troops. As it is. Got some lovely terrain here though for setting things up on. Oh, there they are. And I missed. Gotta get a proper lounge. Mount. Couch, roughly. now as well. Definitely having trouble cornering with this one. Still, not to worry. Yeah, you can see, we didn't lose anyone. Even with the computer handling the AI, it's still better. And we gained a level. Okay, brilliant. So we've actually gained an ability point this time. So I'm going to increase the social. If you remember, the most important are the bottom two. Intelligence is social. And let's check intelligence first for whether we need any increases in focus. Doesn't look like we do. Social, of course, we've just given a bit of an increase. Scouting badly needs an increasing focus. There we go. I'm making no progress at all with scouting. So that should do it. And I think... That may end up being everything. Ooh, we've probably got some tools. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. The number we asked for will go up as our clan rank increases, or possibly as the uh, just as the game goes on. So we only need three tools. I think the maximum is twelve. Yeah, the 
fur is slightly more expensive, but he did pay us in fur as well. So we do have some. Okay, brilliant. So we've got quite a way to go to get to Clan Tier 3. But it might go faster than you would think if we can find a more permanent enemy than the Varcheg Rebels. I suppose we could pick them as an enemy again. But I will need to get all my troops back for that. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So, yeah, we had what could have been a more interesting battle, but with them going defensive, I might have to think of some ways to attack a defensive position. The computer seems to do that pretty well to me, but I suppose, I suppose it might be an option for a shield wall. And then once we're in combat, send in the shock troops and the skirmishers. Possibility, maybe. We'll see. Could do with training up more troops as well and filling out the numbers once we finish the missions. And I know how many we've got. But yeah, I'll leave it for now. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.